All right, you know that feeling when you've been talking to yourself for a while and things are going well and then you realize that you haven't actually been recording? Well, something similar happened. I had, I recently bought a new external hard drive because I'm unable to decrease my size, like the, the size of my recording. So I had to get a hard drive specifically for recordings so and I didn't have to adjust the quality and the sizing and it, you know, it, it saves me computer space, so to say. And um, I was recording for, I think, well over 20 minutes. And then I realized, ooh, I didn't even plug in my hard drive. And I tried to plug it in, but it didn't actually save on the hard drive, even though I just plugged it in afterwards. So that's great. Anyway, we're just gonna try this again. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana. And today we're doing a speed build of the goth household family. Honestly, you guys, I love this house. I love the colors and there's so much I wanted to say, but I've already said it and it feels kind of repetitive now. So I might slightly change what I'm going to say simply because I don't feel like repeating myself, but I am going to tell you the story of the goth household, the goth family, the goth household. I want to tell you guys what happened in case you haven't been updated and you want to see the new season when it starts, hopefully soon, hopefully this week. But I, uh, I was already starting to, to talk about this before, you know, the little accident happened. So let me just continue um, where I left off. And I'm going to try and not cut too much. I just don't feel like it. I've recently just been really into the whole sitting and talking and not editing part of, you know, doing YouTube, so, or making videos, actually, it's not so much doing YouTube. It will be after I render it, but, nah, eh, before I render it, it's still, still my videos. <laughs> anyway, let's just get into it. So, in my version, we have Dawn, Darren, um, Dawn, Dawn and Darren, no, we have Mortimer, Mortimer, Darren, Cassandra, Bella, and, um... Dina, <laughs> forgot her name. So here we have Mortimer, okay? So Mortimer and Bella were married and then Bella disappeared, right? And they had two kids together. And then eventually we came to the part where I talked about Cassandra. Now Cassandra fell in love with Dawn and this is the simplified version, okay? So it's not in, it's not an in-depth, you know, um, recap of what happened the past seasons but it's just a shorter shorter version also not to bore you guys too much you might just want to see it for yourself anyway but <laughs> cassandra and dawn got married in my game and then dawn really thought that he could change himself and he really thought that by marrying cassandra and by loving her so much and enjoying the lifestyle being rich and doing whatever he wants like anything he's hard desired he could get it he th really, he really, he really, 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 really believed that he could change who he was, but he couldn't. He couldn't stop these urges, these desires to pursue other women and, and be with these women and, um, you know, want to date and hang around and interact and, and reach out to these ladies one way or another. And he just couldn't help himself and then it also turned out that cassandra was pregnant and he stuck around he wanted to be a dad there was something about him suddenly being a dad or becoming a dad that made him want to try even harder and he put all of his energy all of his focus so much of himself he put into the marriage and into trying to change himself and being the man that he wished he could be for Cassandra because he loved her so much and then he loved his child so much and then he's you know Cassandra got pregnant again and they had a second child and Dawn kind of realized you know once again just how amazing it felt to have these kids but also how wrong it was that he was you know more there for the kids now and for the lifestyle than he really was there for Cassandra he he started cheating on her and he didn't want to but he just couldn't help himself he just couldn't bear the thought of of leaving her because he loved her so much but he also couldn't stay with her forever because he knew that he would cheat on her till the end of time and then he had to make this decision am i going to give up my lifestyle and everything in my life to to make cassandra happy and and be with the woman i love or am i going to sacrifice this lifestyle and the woman that I love 
so I don't have to hurt her anymore and I can live the lifestyle that I do really want to and I'm always drawn to and I can probably never change and this 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 part of me that I could never change I my you know what what is the right path and Dawn really thought long and hard about that and that was no not the only thing that was long and hard about about Dawn in that moment but it wasn't oh, um, Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm <laughs> I wanted to backtrack on this and make like some joke that was totally not resemblance to um, any of the suggestive things that I was throwing in there, but that's not possible when you don't want to cut in the video, so that's great, we're all gonna enjoy this, and then the awkward moment where I'm trying to justify whatever I just said, and it's not working, so that's great. Yeah, Don ended up choosing the ladder, and he went ahead and moved back into his condo by himself and he divorced Cassandra and Cassandra was obviously really distraught but I actually don't remember if he cheated on her and she found out or not but just in case I'm not gonna say anything about it because if he did cheat on her then I'm gonna say something that's not right and if he doesn't then I'm just you know making him sound like an even more asshole that he probably already is in a way I guess I don't remember but there's a lot of things I don't remember so take it with a grain of salt I don't remember what Don did exactly However, they divorce and now he lives back in his little place and he's back to working and trying to make a living for himself. Cassandra went um, and spent a few years by herself raising her two children. I think it's a boy and a girl. And on the weekends, they go over or whenever Dawn's free, the kids will go over to Dawn to spend some time with them. They're obviously, um, they're obviously, they're honestly on a really good, on really good terms. They are really doing well co-parenting and Despite that Don doesn't have much money, he actually does send Cassandra some child allowances, which she always said, you don't have to do that. I have like tons of money. Don't worry about it. But Don just, just feels like it's somehow makes up for not being there. And he says that, you know, it, it makes him feel good being able to send his kids money. And even if it's not needed, he still feels like they should know that he is thinking about them and sending him, so sending him something and it just feels like it's really important for him to, to do that and he, it's one way he's showing affection even if he's not around but he tries to be, he really does try to be, he's just like he works and he's not rich so life is a bit hard. Now here comes a bit of the more complicated part of the storyline, okay? So then we have Dina and Nina. Yes, <laughs> Katrina's from Sims 4. I just never got around to really like Katrina, really. But yeah, we have Dina and Nina. Now, in my version of Pleasant View, Nina is more of a sugar daddy kind of type. So she goes to man and have the man pay her expensive outfits and furniture and things in order for company or whatever she's providing for them in that moment. And she had something with Don. She was like hooking up with Don. Don had like a list of women he's with. Besides Brandy, probably everyone in the town. Hmm, maybe not Mary Sue. Yeah, probably not Mary Sue. No, probably not her parents. No, yep. <laughs> Besides Mary Sue and uh, you know Brandy, probably everyone. And um, Dina was also involved with um, with Don, obviously. But Dina is more of a gold digger type. And when um Bella disappeared out of the picture right before dawn Dina also started seeing Mortimer and she was honestly just in it for the money she he was just one of her one of the many he was one of the many that she would choose to marry for the money and then hope that would they would pass on pretty soon which sounds really morbid and really it sounds like it, you know what I mean it's like mm. Uh, but that's the character and that's how I want her character to be. I really want you to go and be like, wow, she really does that? There's a lot of people to do that, you know? And if that's what she wants to, that's... I mean, that's how I want her to be and I'm loving every moment of it. So this is the character route that I am or, the, or yeah, this is the development that I... I'm not, try, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here, but that's how I went with her character <laughs> pretty much. So she marries men for the money hopes they pass on leave her with something so far she's not really been lucky because the man that she had didn't have much money they just looked rich but they gave her money to do nice things but then it turned out that they actually didn't have much money once they passed on so there was nothing to give her or there was one where she did marry someone but it ended up being a family and uh, they weren't so happy 
and ended up giving her nothing because she wasn't part of the family long enough and they saw right through her little plan so that was that, 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 that yep that was that was a fail however when she met mortimer and she realized what house he was from i mean he's pretty famous and you know they never really she, she never expected him to bite but he did and once she realized just what she had in her hands she knew that if she could make this work she would be in for a good deal this would be the best bait like the best thing she's ever like the the biggest catch she's ever 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 had so it wasn't it took it didn't take her much and it didn't take long for her to decide that she wanted to go move in with mortimer and right around the time that you know cassandra married dawn dina married mortimer actually i think dina married mortimer after yes okay yes 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 so cassandra married dawn and then somewhere during their marriage dina married mortimer they knew each other before that they were just dating but you know dina actually ended up marrying mortimer slowly after and then she's still married to dawn after she's still <laughs> she's still married to mortimer after dawn left okay okay <laughs> i have to say right now here's where it gets even more complicated so dina and dawn knew each other right and when dawn was living in the goth household Dina was dating Mortimer, but she was also seeing Dawn just as many other people were. And there was a small, a small time where Dawn was completely invested with Cassandra, in which Dina took the opportunity and the chance to really invest herself in Mortimer. And when, you know, Dawn couldn't help himself and went back to his own stuff and back to his own routines and, and doings. That's when Dina and Dawn became more, you know, invested in each other. And there was a time where both Dina and Nina were, you know, going at Dawn at the same time. I'm not exactly sure if in the story I have played it out yet, but in the end, Dina kind of told Nina that she really likes Dawn and that she would like her sister to back off. And her sister is not super understanding because she's like, well, why not? He's a serial smoocher. You don't really think like you can get anything serious from this we both like this man why do we both play him at the same time like why don't we share him we're sisters i don't care that kind of relationship i'm not sure i've played it out yet but that's the, the story that i want to go with and it's going to be pretty interesting to see if nina's going to give dina the room to go and do anything with dawn or not but we'll see that i guess but here comes another thing <laughs> another thing I love how I'm announcing things, but they're probably not even remotely interesting, but <laughs> continuing on, Dina then, um, you know, has this, she has a relationship with Dawn and they're actually hitting it up really well. And Dina then moves in to the goth household and they're still having a relationship together. However, they cannot act out on it. You know, it would be kind of awkward. So Dawn moves out, which makes things way easier. And Dina and Dawn have a moment where they sit together and Dina realizes that despite that she marries these old people, she would love to settle down with someone. She does have this maternal feeling inside of her and seeing Cassandra with these kids. And it just makes her makes her crave the same kind of lifestyle so to say and don completely supports her he supports his lifestyle he knows that he's he himself is a bit strange uh, you know and he supports dina for who she is he even supports nina and he's pretty sure that everyone kind of knows what these girls are up to besides the goth family because i feel like they're just so oblivious to whatever goes around them like what goes on around them but everyone else kind of knows but besides brandy i think brandy is too innocent to believe in any of those things but but everyone else kind of knows what's going on right with those two but dawn just lets them be who they want to be and he, he appreciates them for who they are and he says it's none of his business that's what i want to do he's just there to have a good time but the relationship between Don and Dina are going so well and Don eventually realized that he also has feelings for, for Dina. He also wants to settle. He, would, he doesn't want to settle, but he wants to be with someone. He wants to come home to someone and have someone to always be there for him and cook for him. And being alone also makes him wish that he had his children with him more often. And it also, in a twisted way, makes both Dina and Don realize that they may want to have kids of their own and that they do want... To have a little family only 
it's hard because Adina is also, you know, marrying these old men and Dawn wants to sleep around and Dina is trying her, her hardest to to settle down and she feels like Mortimer is her way out. He's going to leave her so much money and even if he doesn't, she's just going to make sure that she 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 gives so much money. She's going to transfer so much money to her own bank account. She's going to make sure that she gets what she needs and then once Mortimer passes, she just thinks that she and Dawn could be together forever. She has the money. She doesn't have to do it anymore. She can stop her lifestyle. She can live in the glamour that she wants and even Dawn can, but she never has to go back to that lifestyle and she can settle down, have the kids. But here's the thing, she has to compromise. She has to give up what she wants. She has to give up of a, a normal, happy family uh, lifestyle because Dawn is never going to be able to settle down. And even though she's now engaged to Dawn, Dawn made it very clear to her that he loves her. He likes her. He wants to be with her. He wants to have kids with her. But he will never be a different man. He will always be attracted to other women and sleep around with other women. And it's up to Dina now to convince herself whether or not... Well, not convince herself, but she has convinced herself that she's okay with this. And they're going through with this whole plan. Dawn is up for it. He's like, yeah, hell yeah, money. He's up for it. Dina's up for it. But really, is Dina really up for this? Is Dina convincing herself that she can do this? Or is she just letting herself be carried away in, in this fantasy, hoping that everything will turn out right and, and happen the way that she wants it? That's the question. Is this going to work or not? Is this really what she wants? Or is she just settling for less? And if, even if she's settling for less, is this what she wants with her life? Does she want to settle for less? Or does she want to have exactly what she wants? But in a more healthy way you know in a way where both parties get what they want see i really like cassandra and dawn but it was never gonna work cassandra is never going to settle for the things that dina might dina is very different from cassandra and in looking at it from that perspective i think that dina could offer dawn a lot of things that cassandra cannot but here's the tricky part right dina is now married to um, Dina is married to Mortimer, which makes Dina Bella's stepmother, which makes the children of Dawn and Cassandra Bella's step-grandchildren. If she were to have kids with Dawn as well, that would make her now, I don't exactly know how this works, but wouldn't that make her the grandmother of Dawn's children? But it would also make Dawn's children half-brothers and sisters of Dina and Dawn's children, which would also mean that Cassandra, in a way, would be the... I don't know, like... Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just really, I'm not really, I should write this down and look at it from, you know, a family tree point of view. But this this is really confusing and it's just like all connected. And oh yeah, more confusing story. More, well, not more confusing. There's more to add to this. Now, Cassandra fell in love with, um, or has always been in love with Darren. And Darren's always been in love with Cassandra. But they never really acted out on it until Cassandra just ended up you know i don't know how it happened but they ended up you know confessing and whatever marrying each other and she said to uh darren come live with me in my mansion and he was apprehensive but eventually he said yes because his son went off to to college and he said that when his son comes back his son could just live in the house um, that he and his wife used to live in and he feels like that's a perfect gift to to his son for him to, for him to give to his son and uh, if, if it wasn't for that he would probably not have left he was just you know by himself and he you know he just got carried away I guess thinking about living in this big mansion I mean who wouldn't you know you suddenly you're allowed to live in a big mansion with a lot of money you know everything's good I don't know you can make all your dreams come true it's very it's very seductive but here's another problem. Darren is way older than Cassandra. I think Dina and Cassandra are about the same age. I think Dawn might be a little older than Dina and Cassandra. But Darren is older than Dawn, Cassandra, and uh, Dina. And I, even Nina. I would say Darren is closer to being an elder than any of the other ones. 
Um, I think Brandy might be... No, Brandy's also younger. Oh, it doesn't really matter. But I think Darren is one of the... I think Darren is about uh, the age of Mary Sue and Daniel Pleasant. I think that's about the age. So more of the older adults of the town. And Darren, uh, like I said, he moved in. He moved in, uh, in with Cassandra and he's having a nice time. He loves, you know, the kids... Um, as if they were his own, but obviously they're not his own. And since Cassandra is younger, she kind of you know, expressed her desires to perhaps have more children in the future. And Darren pretty much said, nope, that's not going to happen. I'm too old for kids. I already did this once. I love your kids, but I don't want to have more of my own. I just don't. He just has no desires for that. Cassandra tried to respect it and she said, okay, we'll think about it. Yep, you can, <laughs> you can see where this is going. By accident, she I literally did not plan this, but by accident, she got pregnant. And now she's faced with this consequence. Um, or she's going to be faced with the consequences because now she has to tell Darren, who made it very clear that he doesn't want to have any more kids, that she's pregnant with his child. And Darren doesn't want to have this child. Like, he doesn't want to have more kids. So what are we going to do? Is Darren going to go back? Is Darren going to be a father from a distance? Because here's the problem. Darren, if Darren is going to be a father again and Cassandra goes through with the pregnancy, I think Darren is going to resent this so much because she's, she's putting another, she's putting responsibilities on him that he clearly said he didn't want to. And him being a good person, he's probably going to go through with it and try to make the best out of this child, out of this child's life. But he's, he's not going to be able to, like, he's not going to be able to to ever forgive her for that but if Cassandra decides to get rid of the baby in a way that's gonna hurt Cassandra because she really wants to have more children and she would love to have you know she, she would she would love to have another child she's still very early on in her pregnancy I know the bumps look ridiculous but I just think she's like maybe like a few weeks you know uh, pregnant so there's still time to decide I would like there to be that because it would sound <laughs> really wrong if she was like three months three months like six months pregnant and we're like oh hello oh let's just pull the plug okay bye fetus like you know <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm just having an image of someone just grabbing a baby out of someone and just like tossing it in the air like that would be no but i imagine her to be a few weeks pregnant and she's just trying to figure out how to tell darren this but now there's also another thing like darren likes everyone they're I mean, Darren gets along with everyone, let's put it that way. And Mortimer absolutely loves Darren. Even um, even Alexander loves Darren. But the problem is, is that... Darren is finding it hard to adjust to the new lifestyle. And he kind of misses his old lifestyle and his old house. And he never really saw himself ever moving there. He has so many memories with his ex-wife. And... Despite that he also really loves Cassandra, he's just not as compatible with her as he as he thought he was. Their lifestyles and lives are just so diverse and so far apart that he just he just cannot see himself ever 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 really living there happily. He has everything he wants, but it's just not for him. He just he just can't imagine he just cannot imagine himself living there forever. It's just too big and it's not him. He wants to go to job. He wants to go to work and paint in his free time and happily retire in his house by himself and have his son come over or I don't know, maybe his grandchildren one day, but he doesn't ever want to leave the house. He doesn't want to ever Yeah, he just he just doesn't He just doesn't. He just he doesn't want this and he's finding it hard. He's finding it hard to accept this because he wants he, he wanted Cassandra for so long and now he has her and now he realizes that what they want is so far apart that they might never have a happy and successful relationship but I also believe there might be a way out see what if Cassandra and Darren do not have the child what if Cassandra adopts for example then she could be the mother to the child without having darren be the father and it doesn't make him the biological father so if he doesn't want to raise the child he doesn't have to it's not none of his business and darren could just move back to his own place and they could just be married but live separately i mean 
a lot of couples do that why not i think that would be the best solution if you know they can work out their differences well i talked a lot about this and i <laughs> yeah, i really did but that's kind of like the storyline that i'm going oh i forgot bella is back okay yeah bella came back after all these years and bella wants mortimer back not because she loves him nope she's not attracted to darren she's not attracted to mortimer no she's attracted to dawn and what she wants is dawn and mortimer i know that sounds you know but here the thing is bella and mortimer have always had a thing right and then bella and dawn always had this thing too she's always liked the boy and now she's back and i i i imagine bella to be around darren's age too bella doesn't want more kids but bella loves dawn and she wants to mess around with dawn she still likes him she wants to see him she wants to you know you get the drill and when she found out that you know dawn is cassandra's father no the, <laughs> dawn is the father of cassandra's children bella just in a twisted way just just smirked and thought to herself huh this could be interesting like she doesn't think let's back off no no she's there she's on a mission and i don't really know what that mission is yet because i thought she would be more i don't know i thought she would want to see her kids and and maybe explain why she was gone for all these years but no no she came back with a mission mission to vision girl on the move and um her major her major her her number one plan is getting getting her position in the household back bella wants the money bella wants the house whatever mortimer has bella wants it and it doesn't matter to her that she was gone it doesn't matter to her that that dina is now married to dawn uh married to mortimer so many so many sims i'm sorry <laughs> no she's gonna do whatever it takes to kick dina out and to fight for for mortimer's love and she has to fake it so be it but she wants she wants to be the head of the family again and she will stop at nothing and i do believe that dina in a way also really loves mortimer i think how can you not love mortimer there's something about him that's so lovable and it's it's just funny because now dina is gonna have to fight for mortimer as well and it's just oh my god <laughs> it's just so twisted and i love it anyway i'm just gonna cut this short um <laughs> yeah it's already been long i know but i'm gonna cut this short i'm gonna say thank you so much for watching this video hopefully i'll be up for the first part soon and i will see you guys in my next video bye